Full Circle is brought to you by Goods Candy Shop. We aren't just better, we're goods. Suzanne McAllister. I am so glad you could be with us today. Well, as you can tell, we are not in the studio. In fact, we are at the sweetest place in Indiana. We are on location at Goods Candy Shop in Anderson, Indiana. And joining me now, we have the owner of Goods Candy Shop, Randy Good. It is such a pleasure to be here. Well, thank you for making the trip up to Anderson. We really appreciate you having, having you come in. Well, you know the saying, like a kid in a candy store? Yes. That's how I feel today. Well, that's how I feel every day. Well, it must be <laughs> fabulous. You are fourth generation owner of the store. Exactly. We are The uh, candy business has been in our family since the 40s. And uh, since my grandson now works for us, it's like six generations in the uh, chocolate business. So what was it about the chocolate business, other than the obvious, that it's delicious and it's something that everybody wants to have? Other than it it's a sweet deal. Yes, it's yes. a sweet deal. It's, it's just an exciting business. There are no rules, which I really like. We get to make candy however we want, however much as we want, whatever kind we want. So that's what really drew me in, no rules. So let's talk about the kind of candy and sure. the things that you do, because you are known for your innovation, the flavors, the natural ingredients. And also, you say you're not just better, your candy is goods. Exactly. We like to, to insert goods wherever we can. What are the odds of having a candy shop named after your last name? Well, obviously, they're pretty good. This shop is the largest shop in central Indiana. We have the largest selection of fresh, fine chocolates and ice cream in the entire state. And we're working on that all the time. Well, you mentioned ice cream. Now, any time of year, people like ice cream, but I understand that you actually have a truck that goes out on location. Right. If you can't come to us, we'll come to you. A corporate event, if you have a business or something, you'd like to feed your employees, just give us a call. We'll bring out the uh, goods to go. Well, you mentioned corporate events, and one of the things I love about the fact that here at Goods Candy Shop, you can actually personalize. I mean, this is one of the largest boxes of candy I think I've ever seen, <laughs> but you can personalize it. Yeah, there's, there's uh, several different flavors. There's about 100 different flavors of, of candies in this box, and uh, the neat part about it is that a corporation or business can have their logo stamped in a piece of chocolate, which really personalizes the the giveaway and uh, these are incredibly popular so I have a feeling we have a lot of folks at home their mouth is starting to water already and be mm -hmm. sure you go to the goods uh, website we have that up on the screen so that you can find out about all the tasty goodies that they have here but tell me what if you get this uh, as a gift sure. maybe a smaller box even mm -hmm. what's the best way to take care of it because certainly you can't eat this all in one sitting well I, I certainly would try but <laughs> For those who, who do practice moderation, uh, you would take this home and uh, store it room temperature, leaving it out in the open air. That is the best way to store chocolate. If you hide it someplace, which I hear those stories all the time, that they're hiding it under the bed or in the drawer to keep it away from the grandchildren, that actually will pick up whatever odor is in that space. Chocolate's oh. like a sponge. So you want air moving around it all the time. So tell me then, in terms of shelf life, can you just put this away and, and have it a year from now? Or for optimal taste, is there a shelf life for candy? Our particular candy does not have any preservatives. We control the um, life of the candy with temperature. So it depends on what we cook our temperatures to for our, our recipes. But this candy will normally last around six months. Okay. If you store it in the freezer, for example, you could keep it indefinitely, but the secret is wrap it up in cellophane, put it in the freezer, and when you take it out, let it become room temperature before unwrapping it. 
it'll taste just like the day you purchased it. All right, that's good consumer information because I know that if you get a box of candy like this, you're going to want to have it be as fresh as you can from the very first day until you take that last bite. Well, I want to talk a little bit about your parlor out here. You put your own heart and soul <laughs> in this. I know the woodwork and the tile. I mean, you and your family not only make great candy, but you're quite the handyman as well. If, if you uh, get the opportunity to meet candy makers, most of us are innovative. We're most most of us are kind of do-it-yourselfers. And I was always a wannabe carpenter and, yeah. and discovered, of course, I couldn't make any money doing that. So I scratched my itch by doing my own carpentry work and building work. So I see this beautiful counter here. I understand you actually did the woodwork on this. Yeah, it's, it's one of my things. Yeah, we, we built all the counters and, and all the floors and all the walls. Um, yeah, it, uh, it, it's very exciting to be involved in everything you do from start to finish. There's nothing more rewarding than for a man to have something he can call his own and man, when you get to do something with your own hands, it, it really becomes yours. Well, no doubt about that. And uh, we are going to actually have a grand tour, not only of the, this parlor area where we are right now, but Randy and I are going to head back into the production kitchen area. So I think I need to get a little bit ready oh. for that. Suzanne, we're going to take you out of your comfort zone today. Okay. We're going to dress you up like the lunch lady. All right. We have personalized your coat. All right. Take a look right here. Suzanne, you will now become one of the official goods girls. Oh, good. Yes. I mean, and, great. Uh, we will cover you then with uh, the apron. Okay. With some gloves. And we are going to teach you how to make candy. All right. And, and ice cream, by the way. Ooh. And... We're going to test your math skills. We're going to test your endurance. And remember, there's only two things to remember when we make candy. What's that? The first one thing is, is to follow the recipes very closely. And there is no eating while making candy. All right. Well, you heard it from Randy Good. We're here on location at Good's Candy Shop in Anderson, Indiana. I'm going to get all of this on and stay right there because we will be back in the kitchen. Don't go away. Welcome back to Full Circle. We are here at Goods Candy Shop in Anderson, Indiana. I'm here with Randy Good, and he's going to show me how to be a good girl. That's right, a goods girl. Yes, a goods yeah, girl. Yeah, and today we're going to make caramel. Ah. Now we begin every batch of caramel with corn syrup, simple corn syrup. So just watch what I do, and then you do what I do afterwards, okay? All right. All right. We've we not get our practiced hands, this. We get our hands cold okay. and wet. All right. All right. And then... We make a big ball out of this oh gosh. and put it in here, just like that. Get your hands wet. I think you make it look cold. simple. All right. Cold. Drop it in. <laughs> All right. You're, you're, okay, into the, into the kettle. This is not as easy as it looks. Oh, there's nothing Do to I it. put hand, my hands in the water each time? Yeah, that, that kind of helps, doesn't it? Yeah, I think not so. Not as sticky? This is like um, Play-Doh or something. Yeah, just roll it up like that. But this is corn syrup? This is corn syrup. All right. And what we're, we're making caramel. We're making caramel. You put corn syrup in caramel so that it makes them chewy and soft. Otherwise, they'd be gritty. And we have to go up to 12 pounds? We're going to put 12 pounds in here. Oh, my gosh. So this is how it's done. You make it look so simple. All right. Whoa. Sorry. Okay. We hey, close enough. 13 pounds, that's 13 okay. 13 pounds, yeah, for, for television it's going to be fine. Okay, okay, now what? All right, now we have to add sugar. Okay, may I? Yes, you may. All right, thank you. And right here's our sugar. All right, how much sugar? 12 and a half pounds. Wow, yeah, all right. 12 and a half pounds. It's okay, there it's you go. It's okay if I mess up a little bit? Tell yeah. Tell me when to stop. Yeah, because we're open till nine. You can clean. You can clean until then. And then we're going home. Now you do this all the time here in yes. the Goods Candy Shop. Yes, every day we cook from scratch, just like this. And that's why it is so extra delicious. That is why it's, it's so good. It's good. All right, more sugar. Okay, now what? Hey, very good. Thank you. All right, now we're going to add our salt. Okay, why salt? Salt because salt makes sugar sweeter. You're all your all me. your baked goods, cookies, cakes, and pies, caramel and candy. All takes a pinch of salt. 
And this is a big pinch of salt. That's a very large pinch. So with this batch that we're putting together, actually how many carbos are we going to have? We will make uh, about 35 pounds. All right, so tell me why we're using this copper pot. This seems to be an essential copper, part of all this. It distributes the, the uh, um, the temperature evenly. Okay, yeah. that makes sense. All right, this is, this is pure cream. Wow, I've only, never seen it's, this. It's only the best thing. for our guests, so just go ahead and pour that in. All right, I'm having fun. You're doing good. I You're like a to, natural at this. I like to cook, you know, I've never made candy well, we'll, before, we Well, will, we will ruin that for you. <laughs> All right. All right. Okay, okay and I'm now. And now a big cow on that one. we need to stir all of that together. We're going to test your strength. Oh my goodness, this is not as easy as it looks. <laughs> easy now, easy Sorry. now. Oh, I can't, it's really hard. Whoa. So how long does this have to, this process have to go? This will go 45 minutes. Seriously, yes. somebody's here for 45 minutes 45 doing minutes. this? 45 minutes. I'm going to truly enjoy my candy much more. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is like going against like a pulse. Oh yeah. The snow or something. It's, it's, when you make candy, you have to be committed. And you have to be strong, let me tell you. You have to be strong. So now, once we get this all stirred, then what do you do? Well, we're going to add a little bit of condensed milk after, yeah. after we make boil. Okay. And we will add fresh butter. Wow. That's what makes our caramels the best, is fresh butter. Wow. So and all that will stir in and boil up to about 230 degrees. Then we will pour it out on a marble table. It will cool, and then we will coat them in chocolate. And that's what you'll be doing later on. Oh, that sounds like fun. And I, I have to tell you that my shoulder already? is getting sore already. No kidding. You know what the rules are. No. There's, there's no whining in the candy business. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I don't need to be whiny, whiny. I just want to tell you that, uh, seriously, you need to appreciate that little bit of candy that you have. This is not an easy job. So I, I keep going in the same direction. Sure. Twice. Yeah. Switch actually, directions. Actually, actually, the, the, uh, the prof professional manner is a figure eight. Back and forth, figure eight. Now that why gets, is that? That gets everything off the bottom every time. It keeps the uh, sides clean, keeps everything stirred properly. We think uh, that little touch by hand makes all the difference. Oh, no doubt. There no are doubt. large machines that uh, could do this, but I don't know, it loses a little bit of character, I think. Yeah, yeah. And you know, you are an Indiana grown business, and uh, I think people have really come to appreciate the the kind of attention to detail that you have Exactly, here. there is no detail too small. Yeah, absolutely, this is fabulous. Well, I tell you what, uh, Suzanne, we are going to leave this right. for another goods girl to stir. Okay. Because uh, as your internship advances, we need to teach you how to make ice cream. I would love to learn how to make ice cream. All right, cream. well, I follow me. I don't know if I did too well on this one. Oh, you are wonderful, absolutely right. wonderful. We're going to head on over to the ice cream machine. Now, this right is where here. we make all of our ice cream. Okay. We'll make about 1,000 gallons of ice cream every week. Wow, that's We a lot. use only the absolute very best in ice cream mix, 14% butter fat. This is the real deal. Ice cream does not get any better from these ingredients. So we really do need to be aware of the ingredients, don't we, in terms Absolutely. of really natural ice cream. Right, and it's local. This comes yeah. from Prairie Farms, huh. and they're a local co-op. We have uh, cattle all over Indiana that uh, supplies our milk, mm -hmm. and it's only the best for our guests, as we like to say. All right. So we need you to pour that right in that machine there. All right, right here? Right in there. And this is gonna be ice cream. Yes, it is. Wow. This you have, is a, you have a very soft touch. Well, you can I'm, do very well on the candy. You bit. think so? Absolutely. I think you must tell that to everybody. I do. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there now, we as go. We, I as, tried not to splash it. You did any. really well. And as, right. we, as we tell everybody uh, that works here at Goods Candy Shop, all of our profit is in the bottom of the container. Oh, so we want to get we want to get everything sense. out. I'm glad you did that. Now what do we do? Now we're going to add vanilla. All this, right. this is the finest of vanillas. All right. Every ice cream requires vanilla flavoring. It enhances the flavor. Ah, very nice. Yes, All nice. Right. It's a nice twofold. We'll turn it on here. Now there's a dasher on the inside. If you've seen the the uh, homemade ice cream machines yeah, where, you, yeah. where you're just a cranking in a turning yeah. and it's really hard, you know, and, and, and uh, you're out on the porch for an hour. This machine turns at 2,000 rotations per minute. 
So it'll make three gallons of ice cream in nine minutes. Well, we are having quite the time here in the Goods uh, production area at Goods Candy Shop. And this is where the specialty tastes come in. We're going That's to right. take a break real soon. Today, we are uh, making cookies and cream ice cream. All right. And you will be adding all of this right into the machine. It's going to crunch up, and it makes absolutely the perfect ice cream. Cookies and cream's been around for a long time, and it's one of the best. You're doing good. You're doing good. We'll see you later. Don't go away. We're going to be out in the kitchen area next. Welcome back to Full Circle. We are having so much fun at Goods Candy Shop here in Anderson, Indiana. Randy Good is showing me how to make caramel. Exactly. And we mixed all the sugar and You've the syrup. You've been cooking. Syrup. You've got that down really well. Thank now you. it's time to get them covered in chocolate. All right. So what I need you to do is start loading these caramels okay. onto this belt. All that's, right. That's, that's how we begin. All right. And then as it goes down the line, we will get it covered in, in chocolate, get it marked, and so forth and so on. All right, just like this? In order? Well, I, I wouldn't say just like that, but if we're <laughs> going to say that's okay. You're doing good. And All this right. is the end product. Now right down here. Okay, got it. We're going to mark these pieces. Wow. Because every piece has to have a mark so yes. we know what it is. Okay. You're going to lay that fork right on there just like that. And notice how the light hits it and gives it all that dimension. Oh, that's delicious. Makes that delicious. candy piece just beautiful. And you do all of your production of your candies right here in the kitchen yeah. and in the production Everything area. is done right here. Now, it's not doing so well as you did. It's a light touch, it's okay. very oh. light. A lot of viscosity in chocolate. You notice how that yeah. string comes up there? Explain what you mean by viscosity. That's that string that comes up that makes the mark. Oh, I was pushing yeah. it down too much. Right, a very light touch. Wow, Isn't this is nice? great. Yeah. All right, now it's time to offload. Okay. I'm having fun. It smells good too. All right. All right. Now, now we what? go down here. All right. Boy, this is the like. The piece is getting cool. Yes, yes. It's coming out right down here. And these are wax lined boxes. These are wax lined, that's right. We'll, okay. we'll put these in the uh, uh, storage yes. until they're called upon to uh, sell. But these, when they come out right here, they are ready to eat. Wow. That's, that's one of the best things about fresh candy. Uh, no preservatives. When it comes out, it's ready to go. So does the chocolate have to set up at all, or is that what this machine is doing? The chocolate uh, does set up. About takes about 10 minutes for okay. properly tempered chocolate to set up. All right. And so that's, what, that's about how long this belt runs. All right. So this is the end product of what we were working on before, and now? Now we're waiting for them to come out. And uh, when they do come out, what I need you to do takes a very soft touch because chocolate melts at 72 degrees. Wow. Our bodies are 98. Okay. So we don't want to hold on to these pieces for very long. That's why I have my gloves on. Gloves and, and quickness. Okay. So right in there. All right. How many there per box? There you go. We, we do it by weight. All right. This is like that I Love Lucy's show where all the candies kept coming out you're, fast. You're doing wonderful. I am? Yes, you are. All right. Now what do I need to do? Okay. As they're coming out. Oh, they're coming uh, out faster. We need, we need to, to load again. I've got a phone call. I'll be right back. Oh, gosh. Just uh, continue on with what you're doing. You're going to leave me by myself. Okay, I better go down here. When I leave for one moment, just one moment. Actually, you've done, you've done. Can we turn the machine you've on? You've done really well. I mean, for your first day, never, never being around uh, the process of making fine chocolates, I think you could become, matter of fact, we're gonna make you an honorary goods girl. Thank you very much. I really <laughs> appreciate this. I've had such great fun here with Randy Good. His son, Jason, is here and all the folks here at Goods Candy Shop in Anderson, Indiana. It's been great fun. It has been fun. Would you, would you like to try one? You know, I'm not right now. Really? <laughs>
<laughs> Don't go away. We have our music segment. You never know who's going to be out in the parlor after this. Stay tuned. Musical Showcase is coming up next. And now, here's our Musical Showcase. It has been such great fun to be here in Anderson, Indiana at Good's Candy Shop. We've had so much fun with the owner, Randy Good, and now we're finishing off our time with some delicious homemade ice cream. Yeah, 35 flavors every day. Fresh made, some of it by you. Some of it by me, I did that earlier, it was great fun. But you never know who you're going to run into here at the candy shop. That is correct. Performing live here at Good's Candy Shop, just for you, the man, the myth, the legend, and my friend. Carl Erskine, accompanied by Dan Doherty. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time, Full Circle.